So some of your homework ask you about traces. In this particular problem, let's state the type of quadric surface and describe the trace obtained by intersecting with the given plane. So the equation of the surface, they give us this time, uh, is this guy, x squared plus y over 4 squared plus z squared is 1. Okay, and they want to know what the intersection with the plane y is equal to 5 is going to look like. <clears throat> Let's identify that surface. What kind of surface is that? It's an ellipsoid. Yeah, that's right. Everything's positive, and if you look at the traces in the different planes, in the yz plane, it's an ellipse. In the xy plane, it's an ellipse. And in the xz plane, it's a circle. Sure, let's graph that guy. And our x, y, and z. Teehee. Teehee. Yeah. Um, let's look at those traces once more. Maybe not with just the sleight of hand. Let's actually draw them. Let's take z out of it. Okay, it looks like we're going to go 4 in the y direction, both positive and negative. It looks like we're going to go 1 in the x direction. Why are we going to go 1 in the x direction? We're going to go 1 in the x direction because you can see this x as 1 over or x over 1. Yeah, and then this is the number that you go over that far. So let's go ahead and let's do that. In my y direction, I go four, sure. And then da 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 da. Isn't it sad what happened to Conan O'Brien? Yeah. Um. In the x direction, I'm gonna go one, and in the z direction, I'm also gonna go one. So in the x direction, I'm gonna go one. And then the negative x direction is also 1. z direction, 1. Negative z direction, 1. So in the xz plane, that's this one coming out the board, we have a circle. It doesn't look like a circle because my axis is tilted. If you imagine your imagination rotating it around this way, it'd be a perfect circle. Kind of like Maynard's band. Yeah. Um, then, uh, looks like we have ellipse in the zy plane. Like that guy. And then in the xy plane, we're also gonna have an ellipse. Is that where the sun goes behind the moon? No, that's an eclipse. But we still get an elongated shape, kind of like a football. Yeah. Oh no. It was looking real good until I put these other traces in there. So this is an ellipse. An ellipsoid. The suffix oid means like an ellipse. Can you see it all 3D and stuff? Awesome. Now let's go through and answer the second part of this question. In the second part of this question, they asked us, um, what would the trace in the intersection of this ellipsoid and this plane look like? All right. So in order to check out that figure, we're going to let y equal 5. And we're going to go and we're going to throw it up in our original equation. Mm -hmm. We're going to plug it in, plug it in. It's going to make the whole room smell fresh. So then here we go. We have x squared plus, wait for it, wait for it, 5 over 4 squared plus 
z squared is 1. But wait, there's more. Let's clean it up a little bit. Don't mind me stepping skips. You should be doing this, working it out on home. Well, what am I doing? I'm adding that 25 sixteenths, or the opposite of it, to both sides. So this is 1 minus 25 sixteenths. Uh-huh. So then x squared plus z squared is... Are your spider senses tingling? Is that a... Oh, gosh. Minus 9 sixteenths? 9 sixteenths. Looks like somebody put a wrench in our plan. That was awful. Well, standard American awful. Um... Yeah. What do you notice about that? It's imaginary, right? So what does this plane look like? The intersection? There is no intersection. Why? Because you can't take this positive number. Why is it positive? Because it doesn't matter what we put in there. When we squared, it becomes positive. We take a positive number. We add a positive number, and that's equal to a negative number, and that ain't ever going to happen. I don't care who we are. So when we look at the intersection of this ellipsoid and the plane, y is equal to five. We see they don't intersect.